You can tell spring is officially here. The geese are laying right in my strawberry patch. Hey everybody, in today's video, we're gonna go on an adventure. I just found out that my favorite place to buy fruit trees, Rural King, just got their first load in for the 2022 season. So we're gonna run over there real quick and hopefully get pick of the litter before everyone else comes and they sell out because they always sell out super quick out here. I thought it'd be fun to bring you guys along so you can see the varieties that they have in stock and the different prices so you can see if it's worth the drive for you to go check them out as well. All right, let's go. You guys should be proud of me. This rural king had both chicks and ducklings and I didn't even buy any. <laughs> As you can see, they have tons of stuff in stock right now, guys. Uh, the blue and the green tags, those are more ornamental type. You can see they're for shade or flowering. I'm gonna ignore all the ornamental type and just focus on the fruit trees, but I did just wanna bring up that they had a ton of those if you're looking for ornamentals. And they really only have deciduous type trees, guys. I'm not seeing any coniferous like uh, pine trees. And at first we saw some pears here. These were Asian pears. And it looks like the variety was Shinko. These were $30. So not bad for that size of a tree. Up next, um, I thought these were pretty cool. They're fruit cocktails. They're peach, plum, apricot, and nectarine. So all those grafted onto one tree. These were $60 though, so a little pricey. Um, if you've had one of those, let me know how it works out for you. I'm, I'm curious. All right, and over here we had some cherry trees, which I was excited to see because uh, I actually wanted to grab a cherry tree. That's Chilean variety. These are $45. Um, there was only maybe five or six cherry trees total to pick from, which was kind of a bummer, but um, they didn't look too bad. They were probably four to five foot tall. And over here we had some peach trees. These are contender variety. They're $30. I've heard of contender variety. I believe that's a actually pretty popular uh, one to choose from there. So they had quite a few of those. They looked pretty good. They were probably six foot tall. Here we've got our first apple. This is Macintosh. And these are $30. And down here is another apple variety. This time it is Pink Lady. These were also $30 and I definitely snagged me one of these. I was really excited to see Pink Lady variety. This is one of my favorites and overall they looked pretty good. They had quite a few to choose from here so I was pretty excited to see those and one of those definitely came home with me. Here's some more peaches. These are Red Haven variety and these were also $30. Also, I'll mention real quick, guys, that it seemed like the height on all of these was 15 to 25. So it seemed like they just sold semi-dwarf or uh, standard varieties. I didn't see any true dwarf sizes. And over here, we've got another pair. These are Freedom Farms, looks like. Uh, this was Orient for $30. Looks like some more peaches. Um, again, this is Freedom Tree Farms. That's more contenders, those were $30. Those had some nice buds growing on them. Here is a plum cot. I can't say I've ever eaten a plum cot before. Uh, those were $30. They only had a couple of them though. Here's a nectarine, uh, $30 for those as well. Those had some good buds growing on them as well. Some more peaches, uh, Blaze Prince, $30 for them. Red Haven peaches again, $30. These peaches are Belle of Georgia. These were 46 bucks though. I wonder what the difference is with those. I'm gonna have to do some research to see why those were more expensive. Uh, Apple looks like Red Delicious, these are $30. Some apricots here. This is Moore Park, $30 for these. And down here, it looks like we've got some plums. Uh, this is Methley variety. These are 30. Um, we've got some Honeycrisp apples, $30 for those. They had quite a few of that variety. Imagine those are pretty popular. Some more apples. These are Galas for 30. 
Yellow Delicious for 47. Those are another variety that's really expensive. Those are super tall though. Those are like 10 to 13 feet tall. Those would need trimmed for sure. Ayers Pears. Um, I actually have an Ayers Pear at home. It does pretty good. That one definitely needs trimmed. That's like a 14 or 15 foot tall uh, leader there. Uh, Bartlett Pear, $30. Uh, I believe those are a pretty popular variety. Uh, Granny Smith, $30. That'll probably be the next variety of apple that I get. I love me some Granny Smith to bake with. Moon Glow Pear, $30. Got some more peaches. Um, Kara King variety, I believe. There's $30 for those. All right, in here we've got some Fuji apples. These are dirty as well. Uh, some Bruce plum, 30 bucks for those. Looks like that is all for that row. Over here they had some blueberry bushes for 13. I almost bought some of those guys, but my stinking dogs are eating the blueberry bushes I have potted up right now. So I'm gonna have to wait until I can move those out into the garden area. Uh, they had some crab apples. They're 40. Um, I just mentioned those because those can be used to cross pollinate your apples if needed. Here's a nectarine. This is June Princess for $30. And these were an unexpected find. These are American persimmon. These were only 20 bucks. These are a little bit shorter. These are probably three feet and under. Um, we don't have any persimmon trees, so I almost bought some of them, but ultimately I decided against it. So that will have to wait till later. These were our three lucky ones we chose, so we got them loaded up and took them on home. All right, guys, it is the next day. I thought I would show you what we bought at Rural King last night for our new fruit trees. Uh, first one here is a cherry tree, and the variety I ended up buying was Stella. It was $45. Uh, Stella is a self-pollinating variety, which is great because this is our very first cherry tree. It's probably about four and a half feet tall, um, but I thought this one had a pretty good shape to it. So um, some of the branches are gonna need to be trimmed. We've got, some, it looks like this part is dead here. So that one's probably gonna get trimmed to here. Um, this one looks dead as well, but overall she looks pretty good. And then over here, we've got our apple tree that we bought. Uh, this was a pink lady apple, uh, which I was really excited to see that variety. Um, she was $30. I liked it because it is a red variety uh, because I need that visual to know when it's time to harvest. But um, I really like pink ladies anyways, just because they're sweet enough just to snack on, but they're also firm and tart enough that you can bake with them too. So uh, pink ladies, one of my favorite varieties. I'm really excited to uh, have one on the homestead now. And this one I thought had pretty good shape. All right, and up next is our peach tree. The peach tree that I chose was a Blaze Prince, it was $30. Uh, this is a self-pollinating variety, which is good, but we have, I think, three other peach trees right now. So um, that wasn't necessary, but um, it's helpful if you only have one. So this tree looks really healthy. It's got some good buds growing. I will say though, guys, that first off, I am not an expert when it comes to fruit trees, especially when it comes to trimming and um, shaping them. I'm definitely still learning that, but I got, pear and peach trees confused. I thought for some reason when I was at the store yesterday that peach trees needed to have a central lead, um, which is what you see right here, and they actually don't. You wanna shape peach trees differently than apples and pears. Um, so don't take this as an example of a good shape that you wanna look for for a peach tree, guys. Just wanted to mention that real quick. Um, but that being said, it's still, it's a really healthy tree and it'll be just fine. I mean, we can shape it later it'll grow quite a bit over the next few years. So I'm not worried about it, but I did just want to mention that real quick. So you guys, if you are in the market for some fruit trees and you're within driving distance of a rural king, I would highly recommend it. We've been really happy with the trees that we've bought from them so far. Um, I think we've bought eight so far over the past five years and we've not had an issue with a single one. And I think their prices are more than reasonable for the size of the tree that you get. I know there's some really highly rated online retailers like Stark Brothers, but for me personally, I'd much rather go into the store and actually pick my tree out. That way I know I'm not getting one with a bunch of dead branches or that's really crooked or anything like that. So I always know that I'm gonna be happy with the tree that I get. And you know, if they don't have any that's worth buying, you can always just go home empty handed. So no big deal. So yeah guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. It's a free way to help my channel out and I really appreciate it. 
If you'd like to see more videos on our homesteading adventures, be sure to subscribe and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.